Okay, so next what I want to do is look on a animation window. And again, this is if you have it with animation, professional niche with animation, so you can access some of these properties. If you don't have it, the animations, you can skip it. But overall, I just want to show you some options as well. If you don't have it animations, you can kind of preview this. So what's happening every time when you, for example, going in some properties, you'll notice right on the side, you have it kind of like infinity curve or A. This is meaning you can set animations, import or set animations key for that properties. A lot of properties, almost all of them inside the Terrigen can be animated. So it's meaning you can animate it scale, shape of the terrains, uh, texture, you can animate it the lighting, water, motions, almost everything. So when you animate it, or for example, you add set key, you'll notice how it's changed. Now it's covered green light, it's showing me. So next, when we're going, and let's open to new window, so we can easy preview. You'll notice right here, we have a keyframe now green showing us. This is very basic animation, which is showing us beginning, how many frames we can have it. We can need go inside the preference and set animations inside here, if we want to do other ones or how much we want it. Also, let me go back to our, my animation menu. We can have it preview linear, it's almost same like we have it on the bottom. So we can go and look on a keyframe general, all of them. Okay, let's readjust position. We can have it start and frame. For example, I can have it to 500, increase animation to 500 frames this way. Same jump to current frame or a frame we set. For example, if I want to go to 35 frame, I can go right here. We can go to um, fit all workflow in one, fit to the keys, jump first, last, step through each keyframe, and play animations, loop or toggle, so it's going to run. We also can go back and forth on animations preview. In some cases, when you want to create natural motions, it's you want to go back and forth. It's easiest way to find out if something doesn't look right. And of course, you can um, toggle between the real frame or frame by frame playing. Okay, right here you notice you have it keys. Now it's displaying because I add to fractal shaders the scale. So now we have it, our option display if i add more the more in the tree will create it and showing we also have a different mode linear or accelerate tbc and as well we have it same type of the properties when we go fit um the frame and range fit selected keys fit to the curve because we create a curve and one thing till i mentioned about curve you remember um if you exporting be sure you bake animation from the curve animations to the keyframe. And when you bake, you'll notice in your animation window, instead of the curve, you will have it each single frames. So you also have it different type of the scales applied. Uh, some of those options become more understandable when we start working actually with animation. So overall, it is overview. Um, okay, we can preview other keys or a curve. And of course, we can jump directly to the frame values or or other options. Overall, this navigation is a visual preview of our animations. If we have a curve, we can also easy modify curve by take bezels and align them. So right here, this is simple animations um, windows. We also have it very fast access to just on the bottom of our screen. Instead of have it extended, you can go very fast jump. Uh, one right here, till I speak about animations, look look on this project settings. If you don't have it other menu, you can also open project settings where you can specify beside all this information we have it below, right here on the bottom, we have it also current frame and start and end frame. I did modify end frame to 50 inside the menu. You can also do directly from this project settings. So for example, if you want to decrease, you can go ahead. Notice you also can set animation key on an end frame. What is meaning if 
you're not sure when some event happened. For example, I want to stop my animations when the sun will go behind the horizon. I don't know how maybe it will take, how many frames I want to do. I want to have a natural motion. So I can specify um, altitude, I can specify acceleration or moments time, but I don't know how many frames it's taken. So I can go set animation key, tied up to specific event, and after this, its end frame will adjust based when this event is happen. So next, we also have it current frame and all this information and not necessarily related to the animations, but overall the name, who written version after and additional comments. As well, you have it your internal um, network or set on your network right here, center on the network. Um, the one other things, even it's look um, very simple, the animations, but because we have it so much interactions between different um, properties that we can animate between each other, even animate its own keyframes and everything, this is actually a very complex and very powerful tool, and it will require a set of tutorials on its own just to go through different type of animations, natural animations, and how we can link all those properties to work very well for us.